one and one. Oh, we're sort of live, or huh? barely. See if anyone shows up. Oh, John's here. John Coves, hey. Is your phone charged? 56%. Oh, okay. Hi, John. Hey, Jason and Amanda. Hey, guys. Hello again. Hello, yo. Hello, yo. <laughs> Rough day. We're tired. We got a... I don't know if you're number one. I think two eggs was here first, Yanni. Yeah. But that's because they're right there. <laughs> yep. That makes you number two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there is no number three, so. All right. What is he doing? What? What? What do you think? Oh, he's trying to get his ball. I don't think so. What do you think's under there? I think it's a uh, antler. That's what it sounded like. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> no. <laughs> Try to get his toys. Well, it started off this morning about four thirty this morning. And had to take the truck in over the weekend. I put new ball joints and and a new uh, input shaft to the rear end seal. I took it over and had the front end of the line today and then came home and then we jumped in the truck and had to go to Texarkana for doctor's appointments again. Oh, it is. There it is right there. This dog knows where his stuff is. It's crazy. Anyway. So we did that, and uh, man, that's a long day, especially Very with the time day. change, man. Woo. We were trying to get home before it got dark. We kind of made it, huh? Yeah, you can did. still see outside. Just trouble with driving around this area at night, man. There's there could be quite a lot of deer on the, you know, near the roads. Big old semi flipped up here on the main highway this morning scared me because I thought it was my brother-in-law or my nephew. Yeah. Sad for whoever it was, but happy it wasn't them. <laughs> yeah. It was just the truck was on its side and yeah. the tractor was destroyed. I don't know how bad the trailer didn't look that bad, but boy, the, the truck itself looked pretty tough. We could see huh. down your ear. Yeah, I think he was going north. It looked like he was he was uh, doing it. And I don't know. I I we haven't been up there to see it. But there's evidence of it because it left a big groove yeah. in the in the road. I guess it was a reefer. It had a fuel tank on the. You could see the see the bottom of the rig. You couldn't see the what kind of truck or anything it was. But right. It looked like it was haul the reefer. I don't know how it happened, but man, it, it was a mess. It was for sure. I hope you enjoyed that, John. What? He says he looked in my ear. When I was turned by okay. things, he could hear my, <laughs> see my ear. Could you see all the way through the light behind? Yeah. <laughs> should shine a light and you could see it come out this side. Actually, that's what I had done today is they did a... Uh, CT scan on my sinuses for this thing of my this polyp in my nose and trying to determine what's going to happen. There's Trey. Hey, Trey. Hi, Trey. Hi, Wendy. So we did that and uh, way after the other night, too, with that rain. That was, I don't know if, how many people saw that <laughs> video I did. Darla was on the bed talking to people on the phone and then. He's talking to Amanda. 
Yeah, okay. They were talking back and <laughs> forth. So it was just the sirens, man. It, I think the worst part about it is, is the sirens they screaming. They just sound so mournful, you know? Like, I don't know. This is the last sound you'll hear before you yeah. aren't here anymore. Well, we saw some of the damage today. We saw in Wicks, there was a little bit. Not With too the much. trees just snapped off like two ticks. The big damage was down there in Idabel. We did come back through, uh, well, we came back from uh, New Boston. New Bo we came through New Boston, but it, it must have been further south because where we came, there was there was nothing. It was no damage. And then Sulphur Springs got it too, but that's a ways away. So right, Mount Ida got it the worst. Yeah, definitely got it the worst. And then after that, some of the Texas towns got it. Right. But as far as Oklahoma, in our area, uh, Mount Ida is about 40 miles from here, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little more. That sound about right, Jason and Amanda? But uh, that's around here. That was the worst one. And uh, like as, as close as it got was about 10 miles. Uh, Wix is about 10 miles away. And it ripped up some trees and stuff, but it didn't damage any houses or any of that kind of stuff. So I keep trying to find the picture of the accident to show you guys. I got it. <clears throat> you got it? Uh, yeah. Turn it right so they can see it better. See what I mean? I'm tired. I usually get up real early. It's not a big problem for me. But... Can you see it, guys? Pretty, pretty sad. The road is grooved where he slid. Anyway, don't know who he was, but I hope he's okay. Haven't heard nothing yet, huh? Mm -mm. Nope. Well, you know, that's one thing I've, I've talked with truckers. They all, they all kind of have it in the back of their mind. They, they don't ever want to go through that big wreck because it can be pretty deadly, not only for them, but other people too, especially other people. Uh, the cars don't do too fare too well in their barracks. Yeah. We knew a guy one time that had a really bad crash and what was his name? Uh Tony's husband, Mike, remember? He was that's he was a truck driver. That's what got him out of it. He had a really bad wreck and almost died. Oh. Mike and Tony lived behind us on Langdon. The next oh, street, Brantley. Yeah, Brantley. Yeah. So he ended up having traumatic brain injury for sure, for sure. Yeah. Then he really never came out of. That's true. <laughs> That's absolutely true. So, but uh, yeah, and there's a you know a lot of truckers on the road, so you know there's going to be a lot of accidents. But crazy stuff, crazy stuff. And we Darla released a video on. Okay. Yeah, this morning. I don't know if everybody's watched that. More more activity on the the shed. The shack. <laughs> yeah. Uh Jason and Amanda had got us some wood. We Yay. moved that and and then we worked on the metal and they helped work on the metal and um I don't know what's gonna I, I think what it is is they're kind of in hold position on their build. So whenever we're going to do anything. They're like, okay, we're going to <laughs> just occupy their brains while they wait. <laughs> Cage, I can't hear TV over here. Painting the metal, yeah. Well, yeah. it's it's a C, it's a Cody. Yeah. And um, we, we were just going to do the roof, but I think we're going to do the whole thing because it makes it it makes it look really nice and it seals it really good. So it's the rest from. Continue to devastate the yeah. Alumacote, correct you are. Who said that? Mellow Cup. Oh, yeah, well, she does because she she, she painted it. Yeah. It makes it look really Yeah, it looks really, really good. nice. Yeah. I was really surprised. Were you? Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't know how close it would be, but. I thought it was going to be a thicker, like, like I was afraid that if it didn't bond real well, it would just peel off and sheet. 
but it's not like that. It's pretty yeah. thin, and it just sinks down and takes a good bite out of the product, the material. I think it seals. It well, we treated we treated the material before we painted right. it. So crud cutter. <laughs> so now we got to go out there and get all those panels laid out out there. And uh, we got to get those those other woods off on the other side. We get next thing's going to be is to put the plywood up on the roof, put the sheeting, and I got I was waiting on the the special tape that tapes that water barrier. Mm -hmm. And get that all done, and then uh, and then I got to go up and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna coat that uh, the peak where the roof goes like this and, and the. The other part here is what we're doing. We Hi, RV do bandwagon. Hey, how you doing? And uh, we had to, uh, we got to do that other side, get that uh, prepped out and then painted. Now, once that's, that stuff's all done, then it's going to be mostly you know, framing and all that kind of stuff, getting the metal up and getting all that done. Right. And then once we get that, then we could take the floor out. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta take well, yeah, the wood floor, the main area. So the only floor. Well, there'll be there'll be more floor, but <laughs> yeah, it, as we build it, we'll be doing right it, we'll do it be doing it so it's got like a an air pocket about so big that we're gonna insulate it so that the the floor is real and then it's gonna be sealed all the way to the ground. So it should work pretty good. I'm hoping. Wagon. Doing good. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I, I watched that one video where you had your just had your band had the vinyl leathers and stuff put on. It came out pretty nice. So I like the the uh, paintings you did on the windows, the Halloween mm -hmm. paintings. So You're talent, a very talented guy. For yep. Sure. I uh I had a buddy of mine that used to paint girls fingernails and i mean the guy you couldn't even see he would hold this little brush and you couldn't even see his his hand move and a picture would appear he did jesus and the two thieves on a cross on the cross on a girl's fingernails and he signed <laughs> well, he signed it either yeah, yeah and he, he's a weird dude he was a crazy guy you probably i think you met him john uh jesse james uh, uh i think you met him he used to come over and do some stuff yeah in our shop and then we also built the ghost rider bikes The he uh painted the original ghost rider and then we built two more you yay yeah yeah been busy big time out here in Florida. Yeah, what well, you that's been good. doing? These paint windows. Oh, is that what you've been doing? Yeah. You've been busy with, huh? Yeah, that's it's pretty good. cool. That's the only the only way you can make it look like Christmas in Florida is by painting snow scenes on windows, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we had another friend, Brad King. Mm -hmm. And he was a pinstriper, and King's custom. he, uh, there was a group of guys over in Hawaii that did custom cars and stuff over there. And he, they would fly him over every year and set him up at a hotel by the beach. And during the day, he'd pinstripe all these cars and letter stuff and do all kinds of things. And, uh, and they pay him money too, and he'd come back. It was a tough job, but somebody had to do it. Yeah. He he loved doing that. Um, by the way, we are going to cut this one pretty short tonight. So if you guys want to talk to each other or if you want to ask any questions tonight. Cause we are burned out. We are. <laughs> it's been go all day. has been go, go, go. Hey, my first Christmas window is tomorrow. Earliest Christmas scene for me. Yeah. Short. Why does he have to do that? Or... He's your kid. Ask him. I don't know. Hey. Hey. And yes, time change has not been my friend. Even though we gained an hour, I just 
it just messes with you. No yeah, like, I, no like the time change. You you get up in the morning, you feel like you your clock's wrong. Because it is. <laughs> and then in the evening, it's like all of a sudden, man, it's just like you just get. I your get. Body really, starts knowing that when it gets dark, it's time to go to sleep. Yeah, believe me, oh. I know. <laughs> it's all I could do to stay awake right now. I know. We still got things to do before we go to bed, so got to do my leg again. So never ending. Yeah. But you know, if you want to keep it, that's what you got to do, right? Yeah. Is that why I'm doing my nose? Because I want to keep it. I don't want to keep your leg. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And then. He's so short. <laughs> what? You said you're going to keep it short. John said short. Yeah. And two eggs said, please, no short. Yeah. And then John said, why not? You did tell them to talk to each other. <laughs> we are. Yeah, we are going to go to court site. We're definitely going to court site, it looks like now. What side? Uh, unless we have to find out to get the gas tank filled. Well, they're supposed to pay for our fuel, so if they pay yeah, for Yeah, but we still have to put the money in the tank first before they reimburse us. Yeah, well. <laughs> we may have to get a little You may have that. to stand out in front of uh, Walmart with a cardboard side for a couple hours while I play on the video cam here, and uh, we try to get some money. Yeah, we'll, we'll be sure and uh, do a live feed for that one. There's a lot of people already uh, over there that in Arizona. That might be when the shorts kick in. What's... what's What's getting crazy is, is they're they're doing this thing now where they go to quartzite that area and they stay down there for you know a few months and then when it starts warming up again then they go up they're either in Hallbrook or Williams area Airbird. and then they stay there all summer and then when the winter comes they go so they're basically living in Arizona too cold for short snow or cat stuff yeah. It's in the 70s. It was today, yeah. yeah. It was pretty warm today. Come here. We took Cage with us. He was okay. Come here. It's very overcast. They, they want super, to see you. Super come muggy here. today. Cage, come here. Oh, it was kind of humid. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look. <laughs> Look, come here. What rest up. Come here. Come on up. up. What is wrong with you? He wants to play. Your ball? He spent the, he spent the whole day in the truck. Sleeping. When we got home, we realized that he had got body or had. Well, it. we tried to take him. Yeah, there I did what. There he is. He, bought, he didn't have anything to eat or to yeah, drink. But then he got. We went to. We did uh, go to a Texas Roadhouse tonight. So he got some bad steak. Day, but dreary and no sun. Yeah. He got steak. It, in Texarkana, it was muggy. Super muggy. Huh. Huh. I don't know. All they ever see is the back of the <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Batman. Na, 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 looks like Batman. Na, 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 see? Look. Oh, look at, come here. Look at we'll the dog. Copyrighted look. For that. <laughs> look at the doggy. Look. See the dog. Hey. See the doggy. See the doggy. Humidity. See the doggy right there. He's all. <laughs> Humidity. Just stay here. Just stay. At least no Quit. Today. Yes, mellow cat. Quit. We are happy for you and us. <sighs> what a cold. You're making a scene. I don't know. He's just like all weirded. Yeah. There's Barry. Hey, Barry. How you doing? Hey, Barry. See, Barry's another one that hey. does that. Goes up into the high country in the summertime. And then in the wintertime, he comes back down to like Lake Havasu. <laughs> You stay you stay at Lake Havasu all winter, don't you, Barry? We we're just talking about a, a lot of the YouTubers basically now are just living in uh in Arizona. Yeah. So got to talk to a friend that we made in our very first ever work camping job when we very first it, left yeah, in the motor. Coffeeville, Kansas. Yeah. Amazon. I haven't talked to her in like a year and she finally called me, so that was nice. She's not happy because they've gotten off the road a hundred percent, but they're wanting to get back into something smaller that he can navigate because he's gonna be eighty. Really? Yeah, Don's gonna be wow. eighty. So but 
She still wants to go and do things, and so does he. By the way, Trey, Desert Hot Springs oh. is down by Palm Springs. We're in the high desert, not the low desert. We well, we were. What? We were. We lived. We were in the high. We lived. Did you read that? No. Yeah, you know, uh, something interesting about Kingman, Arizona. There's the Hotel Beal, mm -hmm. and I think I told the story before, but. We were there, a bunch of us on bikes, and we were just kind of hanging out. And they had a bar that was open. And the owner of the place, she was talking to us. And next thing we know, man, she took us underneath that hotel. And there's like a whole city tunnels under there, man, huh? There's, yep, stores, tunnels. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah there, there were tunnels. They used to the run the Chinese around under there. And, yeah, because they put the railroad. But that, I see that. Last time we went through there, we drove, we kind of drove around to see it. It was closed. It was yeah. no more. It was a really, it was a really old place. Who was it? Clark Gable stayed there on his honeymoon. It was a big deal back then. The lady that took us on the tour bought it and she was trying to refurbish it. She ran out of money. Yeah. And I do think she passed away. She was pretty old. It was, it was crazy though. They, uh, there was a, like a little workshop, uh, down underneath there and <laughs> and they you know this guy fixed toasters and yeah cause because you could buy anything during you world buy, war ii yeah, stuff, so. and so posters down there from yeah a lot of old stuff a lot of old stuff the 30s and his oh, tools the were still i think he died too i think that was one of the things you know okay they're gonna drive to his ferry on the way to palm springs there and oh they are yeah wave it as you go through there yeah, yeah, Darla will be there uh, in a couple of weeks, huh? Go visit. Yeah. Patty yeah. just came back from there, from California. Really? She went saw Susie and uh, Megan and JJ and Don and bunches of other people I don't know the names of. The weather was good this year. Yeah. Very says. It was pretty good until last couple of days for us here that was crazy I, i'll tell you what man that siren screaming is probably the worst part if they didn't blow that siren so long it was just i think blue for over an hour mm -hmm. well and they shut it off for about five minutes yeah, so they turned yeah, it right it back, back on. on came back on four times yeah so it's crazy yeah. now he wants out again you already been out he's fine he's a pest uh, -E it's kind of like when you're on the phone and you have kids. Yeah. So all they want is. I mean, can I have water? <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. Then go. <laughs> She's back and harassing you. Yeah. Yay. I'm going to be home alone too. So. I'll make a bad mic here. Hey. Hey, Mike. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, we're we're real low key tonight because we're wore out. We're worn out. <laughs> Time change. Up early. Drove too far. Doctor's visits. Truck drove good though today. Yeah. We didn't have any issues today. So yeah. everything was good. Darla and I about like a year and a half ago had replaced the upper A arm control arms on the truck. And man, it really drove awesome. I got realigned and everything. It drove really awesome. And then it, it just seems like it just was like getting kind of jerky. And the bottom, the, the lower ball joints went out. So we just changed those this weekend. Then I had a rear a rear seal in the uh, the pigeon seal and the differential was leaking. So change that. Jason and Amanda got the oil <laughs> change today. Good yeah. Deal. Yeah, I got that's something else I got to do on my truck is change oil. And this, I got to start servicing this thing, getting it ready to roll in January. It's supposed to get down to 24 in St. George. They're looking Ugh. for a warmer, warmer area. <clears throat> well, mesquite. We're supposed to get really cold here, too, pretty in about a week, like 24, 29. Well, the, the end of this week, yeah. Yeah. 
supposed to start getting colder. So they don't like winter. <laughs> yeah. And our 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 fireplace heater thing. It died. Well it, well, it didn't die. It's, it just wouldn't shut off. Yeah. And it was thermostats broke. It was getting really hot. The cable was getting really hot. So I ordered a new one, but in the meantime, we got a little tiny one. What's wrong? Claudia says, hi, guys. Snow here. No. Wow. <laughs> Time for you guys to head to Arizona. You need propane again? Again? Did you just get propane? I feel like you just got it like a week before last. Probably been like a month, though. Or did you not get it? Maybe, I maybe thought they did. You told me they did. I thought they said they did. We did. We did. Oh, no wonder. No wonder. Yeah, you know, it's right over there at, at the <laughs> I gotta gas do station. Unhook and. Yeah, wouldn't take you long to do it. Yeah, but it's just a pain. Got to put everything away and all the all the things. Well, that's well, it. You, you probably have to move that trailer too, uh, so that you could come back up this way and back in. Yeah, well, I guess we know what you'll be doing tomorrow, or before the. End yeah, of the you week. want to do it before. Well, move all the crap we have exactly. Bye, Gary. Thanks for saying hi. Bye. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Voting. Oh yeah, we got we all have to vote tomorrow. Yeah, I voted. Yeah. I'm voting for Mondale. <laughs> I'm voting for Reagan. <laughs> That's Reagan put put it too, Mondale, man. He did, I don't think he won any state. Was or what I think he won. That was crazy. <laughs> no, Kevin. <I'm> not. <laughs> can't talk local politics here. <laughs> oh, there was Jason. Mute. Oh, Darla had that discussion today about our mayor. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. She's, we think, seem to think she'll probably win again. But I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm about. I don't think things have changed that much. Yeah. Basically, the mayor gets to sit down. And uh, harass people in the city hall. That's basically all she does, huh? Especially me. <laughs> Bill is one of her favorites. Well, I, trouble is we have such crappy water pressure around here. <laughs> and she she always makes comments like, "Well, how's your water pressure?" I go, "It's terrible. It's the same <laughs> as it's always been. Terrible." And the lady next door, she. She, they, everybody on the street complains because it takes her like 20, 30 minutes before the washer it starts 45 minutes. to fill with water. It really takes that long. So There's a way to overcome that if we ever get the chance to build our building. But Well, yeah. we're working on it. It just, we don't have, you know, we're we not building, <laughs> we're not building a brand new building. So we're, Taking the old building apart and and refinishing the stuff and then putting it back together. So last day living, anyone? Yeah. Any input? How's he doing? Well, now he's talking about next summer uh, getting to. But he has it all walled, right? All walled in now. Yeah. Okay. And he's got it. He sprayed it everything with WD forty and then put a blue tarp over it. What he should have done instead of doing that, he should have he should have just put like an etchy primer on it, something to kind of just to give it a keep it from rusting because it you know, WD forty is going to go away eventually. Well, I know one thing for sure: Bill will continually tune in because otherwise it's a mystery. How'd it turn out? <laughs> I'll tell you another good channel I've been watching. It's it's a young couple, and it's uh, their channel is Adam and Steph, and they're they're uh, building a school bus. And man, I'll tell you what, he's really into the the way the the solar stuff and everything else. 
and he's really good at it. It looks really nice, and they're making counters, and I mean, they're doing it all themselves pretty much. It looks they painted the bus, and looks pretty good. They're doing. I told them, I go, it's very classy looking rig. So I think they're going to have something real nice. They're getting close to having it done, but I've been watching more of these uh, these roof raises on these school buses and stuff like that. I like that. Bus grease monkey. He's he's pretty good at working on the old Detroit diesels and stuff. But I travel camp three sixty five. Yes, we did make it through the storm. Yeah, we made it. We're still here. It, honestly, it didn't even really come that close to us. Well, well, Wix is eleven miles away, and probably the other side of Wix is another two miles, maybe. So it it wasn't that close, but they did have some trees ripped out like they were nothing on the yeah. side of the road. But I didn't see any places damaged. No. Mm -mm. But my brother said there was there a couple was. of buildings that got they damaged. They said that online too. And but we, I mean, we got some hard rain and I don't know, a little bit of wind. And really not that much rain. Yeah, not, yeah, hard rain for like a real short time. Yeah, and, you know, <clears throat> well, all the ponds around, they're full. They, they got rain. a lot of water in them, but. Right here, the ponds are full. The streams are getting there. But yeah, but, I uh, see the Christians are back on the couch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know what? If if the thing would have came, we would have had to go in the bathroom. And, and everything's glass in there. Everything is glass. And, and, and the this is the only the one the blanket I got right here is the only one that we have. She's got all the blankets in the truck. When I we're driving down the road, she, you can't even see her. She's under blankets. I'm not going to be cold this year. Yeah. <sighs> That's why they put a heater in that truck. Yeah, streams are moving again. Hey, Maddie. I'm late. For some reason, I could not join the chat, but then it let me <laughs> weird. Anyway, hi. Hi. Hi, your posse. We're happy you made it. Yeah. Actually, we're starting to get some numbers now. Look at that. We're not getting that many likes, but we're we're getting some numbers. Likes are important. Likes are always important. We really like likes. You like likes? I, we like likes. I like likes. Like I likes. like likes. I do. <laughs> I think we ought to think about it. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. The, the, this thing. It's free to do that. You don't have. There's it no charge. When you do, it's still analytics. So and if if you if you haven't, and you want to, if you subscribe, that's free too. There's no charge for anything that we do. <laughs> In fact, we make T-shirts, but the problem would be is we give them all away. <laughs> if you would. See, they like that. I that I you like, like that you likes. like likes. I like that you like that we like likes. And on and on. <laughs> we got asked, you guys you going to Quartzsite again yeah. this year? We are going again this year. And it, and with if you go on to our Facebook, um, uh, the Economic Refugees RV Facebook page, you get all the True. information if you want to stay where we stay. And we do things like uh, campfires and we uh do like little taco things and you know we're gonna try to do we've had some requests for meetups and stuff like that but if you just come to the campground you know i mean even if you don't stay there you can come and visit yeah. and enjoy the campfire yeah, and, come and visit. yeah the, the the campground we stay at's pretty pretty easy going um they uh they don't say too much about anything we do so maddie said voting tomorrow any thoughts well trying to get me started aren't they <laughs> don't get me started we gotta vote we gotta vote i mean if if uh if they take away all the fuel how are we going to travel how are we going to be able to live in rvs you know they, they build a they're they're now building an electric motor home they could travel up to 100 miles a day. <laughs> wow. You can, like, get to the city limits, you know, and then turn around and come home. Plug back in. But maybe who's on first? Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a 
I'm not registered as a Republican or a Democrat, but I think this time we gotta we gotta change it up. And I don't. Ugh. Travel Camp three sixty five says he came by last year to say hi. Oh yeah, were we there? <laughs> Travel Camp. What's we your did. Name? Well, we talked to. Yeah, tell me your name because well, Jim Bertram came. Mm -hmm. And uh, some, so a couple other people came and saw. Wants to close all the coal mines. Yes. Right. Okay. Hey, Jim Bertrand. Hey, yeah. survivors. Ron. Yeah. I think I remember Ron. I do. I do remember. I do. I do. I do. I do. I'm starting to take. You know that random access memory? Yeah, I just have so much RAM in my head. Like, it takes a long time like, to go through it. I do, I do remember you, Ron. I do. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be there again, but need to get it where you guys come and just kind of hang out. We just have fun, you know. Yeah. Jim can play the music for us. <laughs> well, my dog is trying to bite you. <laughs> That's not biting. <laughs> I'm <talking> right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not an innocent little thing. Are you kidding? Yeah, he's just a big mouse. <laughs> he's looking at this like I'm not a mouse. Let's go to bed. He's even got <laughs> he's <laughs> even got bloodshot eyes, don't he? I just want to go oh to bed. man. Yeah. Yeah. So I got. I'd really like to replace my front airbags on this thing, but I don't know. It may take a chance and roll it again and have to change them on the highway. That's another, uh, let's see what's that guy. Igmatic, Nomadic, has anyone seen his videos? Nomadic Fanatic? Oh, no, not Nomadic, it's... Uh, Enigmatic? Egg, egg, Enigmatic? It's Egg Basket Nomadic. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, he's got a school bus with a Ford 7.3 diesel in it, and it get, goes about a hundred, about 50 miles, and then it 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 pops another piston. So he pulls over and pulls the pad down and takes all of the stuff out, and then grinds the rod so that it's round. It puts well, that's you puts it back together. It I think he's down to a six cylinder right now. It was a V8. <laughs> But it doesn't have any power. I guess he's got a girlfriend with one of those little uh, uh, Dodge Ram vans or something, and she's pulling it most of the time. He's trying to get it to Lake Havasu so he can to uh, either put a new motor, oh excuse me, a new motor or something in it. Jim but, says I have to learn some Darla music. Yeah, <laughs> Darla's not not I'm much not, into I, music. <laughs> I I prefer. I have to wear headphones. Well, I, I have a really nice sound system I put in here. Not, it, not it, that I would mind you playing, Jim. Yeah. At all. But in order for me to play music, she has to be gone, or I have to listen through headphones. Yeah. When we drive in the truck, it's got to be silence. Uh, just, I get like sensory overload when it's too much. And I've always, I've always been the type of guy. I always had music playing, but oh. When she goes to visit family, yep, I'm gonna be able to play to music. Deaf her husband and a deaf dog. That's all right. <laughs> I'll have fun. And deaf neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> you guys gotta keep him in line. Two eggs. Yeah, John has headphones. Yeah. I am like almost 100% deaf in this ear now. But it still will vibrate the eardrum, and it drives me crazy. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Maddie wants to know what kind of music. Yeah. I'll tell you, she <laughs> don't, she does. She says what? <laughs> she doesn't like any music, but I like I like 50s, 60s, 70s, some of the 80s, some of the 90s. I don't know what they've been doing since around 2000, but I like the older music, and, and I like. Pretty much country western, rock and roll, whatever. I, I mean, I just like 
a lot of the music now, like they they have to tune their voices and all that stuff. And, Synthesize. Yeah, it's not good. Travel Camp three sixty five says he doesn't like too loud of music either since he got hammered in the head a couple of years ago. Yeah, I got you know I got two guitars and a bass in the motorhome, so. <laughs> the RV is rocking. We'll know Bill is hopping. Yeah, you'll know. Jim says he'll be back in court tonight and he's bringing his guitar. Yeah. And, uh. I think I'm going to get me some heated socks this year. Formula music. I like old time gospel music, five part harmony, a cappella. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, believe music. it. Believe it or not, I played uh, guitar and bass in church for years. Huh. Yeah. So. You played saxophone in high school. Yeah. I played. I played guitar in high school, in the uh, the jazz rock band in school, and then uh, and then like I say, uh. I did the I did the thing at Calvary Chapel where it was just me hey, and Mark. guitar and say There's Mark Bustani Bustidian Bustia. Huh? He told us oh, Bustian. <laughs> yeah, we don't know That's how to why say I said, Hi, Hi Mark. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Same rhythm, same repeat. That's the formula. Bostine. See? Bostine. He's Bostine. He's not yeah. a boss adult. Yeah. <laughs> Bostine. Huh. Uh. We're pretty excited tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man. <laughs> you guys have no idea. You have no idea. Zero. And then Nupskull over here for the last couple of nights has decided that he has to get up at three o'clock in the morning and go out. So he walks all over my legs until he wakes me up. And then once I wake up, he's like, You gonna take me out now? <laughs> so I get up and then he runs out here and stands down here on the yeah. bottom step. And I have to bribe him so I know he's coming back. Mm, what am I drinking? I am drinking ice water. <laughs> Actually had a, a uh, we got a Coke at the Exxon dealer on our way to the, to our doctor's appointments. And then and I, I just, I, I, I drank about half and I can't drink all that soda anymore. Glad you didn't get blown away. Yeah, I, you know, that's one thing about uh, RVs is you get you get a, near tornadoes and it's like a mobile home trailer park, you know. Yeah, that's it's, what they seem to target. You but know you know, I mean, they, they, I'll tell you what, them tornadoes are ripping houses apart like nothing. Yeah. I guess they had like eight or nine people die down there in Idaville. Yeah. Yeah. They had a church that was completely like destroyed. Gone. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> they were, they were saying that the debris field or the debris was as high as 2000 feet in the air. And uh, I, I, this kid that, uh, that helps me with, working on the truck and stuff. He does most of the heavy lifting, but I, I always kind of, I had to make tools and everything to do what we were doing. But anyway, we, we were over there and, and his grandpa came by and he said, yeah, I found this in my yard. It was like the, like the, the, the layer of, felt. well, it's not it felt. It was like, like our DuPont. It's like a really tough stuff. And you could see where it had been nailed down. It just got ripped off and, and it was in his backyard. And who knows where that came from? Mm -hmm. That could have come from a long, long way. So, hey, Mark, are you in Northeast Arkansas? 
pick up five inches of rain. I think you, who's in Canada? Uh, Jeb Bertrand. Jeb's in Canada. Canada. Okay. Well, he's probably not in Canada now. It's winter there. Time to roll. Oh, Kansas. Kansas, okay. Sasnak. <laughs> you know who Sasnak is, Mark? You ever watch him on YouTube? Leavenworth. Leavenworth, okay. Leavenworth, isn't that a prison? <laughs> Not personally. Yeah, but I mean, you you see, have you seen his videos? Because uh, we uh, <laughs> we went and uh, we know him. We visited. We we met him a couple times and talked to him. We went over when he got that uh, Prevost, and he was <laughs> he was all cut up from the mirrors inside this thing. And then he was showing us how he got cut up, and he cut himself again. And Darla's over there with super glue, trying to glue his hands back he together. Cut his crazy. knuckles. The first time he did it, hanging a towel up on top of the shower door, and there was mirror that had a raw edge on it on the ceiling, and he hooked his finger and sliced off a chunk. And then when he was showing us, and I just went like this, he got the other one. Yeah. And all he had was. He didn't have band-aids or anything. All he had was pink duct tape. <laughs> yeah. I bandaged him all up. Well, I glued him with super glue. But it was like real slow <laughs> drying, so he was he was a mess. mess. <laughs> but he's a uh, he's a, a truck driver. He's yeah. the one who, who spilled coffee in his lap. Totaled his truck. And totaled his yeah. truck out. He's and now and then he he wasn't he was like I'm done with trucking. So he went and bought this motor home and he went to to Quartzite. It was out there Scandal by the wash. the art. Yeah. He out drove by that the, Provost out to Scan and Wash. And uh <laughs> and he decided that was probably not the right rig. Jim uh Bertrand says he's still yeah. in Canada until after Christmas. Yeah. Christmas train is so mad. Here kind comes our train. Was the name of the old oldest strip bar in Kansas. He said that too, and he's yeah. like, "Not that I've been there, not that I know anything about it." Yeah, <laughs> he's a were, Texas guy. Yeah, people were talking about that. Him and um, oh, what's that other guy? That guy that Hobo Tech. Him and Hobo Tech were pretty good pals. I met him and Tom in Idaho. He seemed nice. He's very nice. Yeah, I never met Tom. I tried to. He was sick that day. Yeah, we went the to go we went, went to go there. see him one time and he was sick as a freaking dog. Wouldn't come out of his van. And honestly anybody. it was right around no it wasn't. It was just before COVID, I think. Yeah, it was a year yeah. before. Yeah. I don't know, I never see him anymore. I guess he's still going. But it, what I've seen is and this is what class A is getting into, is oh, doing all these product, product promo reviews. promotions. He says he's going to stop doing that now because yeah. he's got too much junk. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You it, know, too much free junk. Don't want that. Well, <laughs> you know, the same way with Eric, he's been doing that. Yeah. He's got a he's got a portable dishwasher. It is Tioga. Really? Yeah. I mean, I it's only like this he big. I that um, clothes washer. That yeah. We thought about getting kind of like that but you got to dry them online anyway so tom for reviews now full-time i don't think he is traveling oh huh? How about that? maybe Possible. yeah well i know he had that girlfriend thing go on and then it was right after that that he just kind of started getting into the reviewing products but mm -hmm. I don't know we did one product review and then we we, we started getting all these people the company said they wanted to send this stuff yeah, we, we get them periodically now yeah. but 
not unless it's lot. something really cool that I think is awesome. Well, I've done product reviews that deal that you put around your hitch that uh what stabilizer? It? No, what's it called? It's a Twin, quiet hitch quiet by Roadmaster. I really like those because I was having a lot of problems with But that was a sponsor by them. We, no, we I went the bought them. <laughs> and then and, I I I put it on. I I had, I had one but I bought a couple more and a couple people I put them on their mm -hmm. On their vehicles it makes a big difference when you're towing something because even as a passenger i can tell yeah it's not you know jerky. and now we got that new tow bar it tows even better yeah. i got i read completely redid that thing so it tows good i bet you now that we got all this stuff straightened out as yeah. far as uh, live it and everything i think it'll be even better hopefully the tires won't be burned off anymore yeah Yep. And then, uh, who else can we talk about? <laughs> we like talking about other YouTubers. Um, I got I got a bit about Class A. Um, he's a good welder. He he does. He's a really good fabricator. The thing about it is, is if he if he was doing that all with aluminum, it would probably be a whole lot wiser thing because uh, that steel if he doesn't if he doesn't get prepping on that right away once it starts rusting Blow it up there in Washington it's, yeah it's never going to be good again and it's so heavy and everything is above you know you you've got to it's just like with a motorcycle you want to put weight below the axle to to get rid of top heavy if you keep adding weight above the axle line Putting stuff in saddlebag, you know, and uh, tur packs and all that, and you get them over just a little tiny bit. <laughs> oh, I, I should tell everyone that stupid story. Anyway, yeah, the on the over they go, you know. So I used to flip the swing arms on them dressers and make all kinds of spacers and stuff. I got a little lay and, and it would it make them just really handle bitching. When you stop, you you know fall over. But the other day. Jason and Amanda haven't even heard about this. I went over to to get a seal driver out of my toolbox, and we had put we got ten sheets of half inch plywood and ten sheets of three quarter inch plywood, and we lead on the edge, not eight feet high, but four feet high and eight feet long, and had leaned it against my toolbox, and I needed to get in there, and I thought, well. Maybe if I could if I could get this thing back, tilt it back, then I could. I can't exactly remember what I was thinking I was going to do, but anyway, I got to about I was eight. There. Yeah, I got to about eight, and all of a sudden they started sliding, and the bicycles my the bicycles were behind me, and I got pinned, and I I was I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. I was just stuck, and, and it scraped me real hard on my side. And uh, so finally, I mean, I knew no one was going to come and help me, so I just started. It, well, not only were. did I have to push him, you know, push him back over, but I had to make him kind of slide so that it would do this type of thing, so I could start working him over. And I finally got it where I could get out, where I had enough where I could push it. And get out, and I just let it let it go, and then I then I put, took them all out, got in the toolbox, and then I I put them all the back. Really, I was trying really to keep sad, from having to do that. The really sad part of that story is the part he wanted wasn't in there. Yeah, no, the tool wasn't in there. I think it's over here in the cargo bay. Yeah, we he had a driver anyway. So. Hey, Canadian twig. Howdy. So. Yeah, it was. Uh, that old motorhome is going to blow up on the first grade. He goes up, I'm afraid. Yeah, me too. Blow <laughs> up or flip over on its side. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That seems like a, a lot of weight, you know. It's kind of like putting a refrigerator in the, you know, in the back of a of a pickup truck or something. They get kind of 
make you feel like that, but I mean, it's a lot of weight. What do you, what do you say, wimbly, wambly, and wombly? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, it, 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 what he, what he's done is really, really cool. I mean, he's really, he's done a, a phenomenal job. I just don't, I'm just not sure about it, if it's going to work out for him the way he thinks it is. Unless he puts some heavy ballast underneath that thing, it's going to, he's going to go around a corner and all that weight's just going to go. And he hasn't even put the, the tanks in there and his, his, He's put says he's gonna put all these cabinets in there and everything. He, he hasn't really thought it through that good. Like I say, if he was doing it all aluminum, um, it, because like this thing, there's a steel frame from just behind the driver's seats forward. <laughs> it's all steel. It's like a roll cage. But when you get when you get right over here. Then from there back, it's all aluminum, um, framing, and it's pretty heavy duty for aluminum. The roof framing is. What do we got in here? What is that? What kind of bug was that? It's not okay. a mosquito. Anyway, the whole roof is framed. It is. That's pretty thick stuff, but it doesn't weigh nothing. Aluminum's so much lighter. It's it's up there on the roof. So you see it? Oh, there it is. It's one of those stupid Asian beetles. Is it uh, like little ladybugs? Get the, oh, she's gonna get the fry fryer gun here, but uh, uh, you can't do it because then everyone go, oh, kill the bug. <laughs> it's over there. There it is. It's on that side of the lamp, on the light. There you got him. He's on there. But the the thing is, is you could kill him without turning him into absolute smoke. Yeah, so uh, it's oh, that's, that's disgusting. And then I gotta smell bird bugs. It's gonna be one bad thing about getting my nose fixed. Anyway, so and the framing, the framing for all the cargo bays is steel underneath, and it's all welded to the frame and everything. But he he took all that off. There's nothing. There's nothing underneath now, so I don't know. You know, what I mean, if, if you if you think about it really, really hard, you you have to realize when you add six or eight thousand pounds of steel above the axle line, and you get rid of what was down there before, it's just gonna, you know, be hazardous. Why trucks, big trucks, flip over all the time and get all that weight in them trailers, and you know, smoke them bugs. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Guess we're gonna get one of those. You should. I have you an extra should. one. <laughs> <laughs> we we bought a two pack last time. They're killer. <laughs> I they need one for there. they need one for dogs. <laughs> we have one. It's like a little collar, but we can't bring ourselves to use it on him. He's had it on. And all we did was where it made the noise. <laughs> He's like, he just runs, what, is this, runs. what is this irritating noise? <laughs> I keep running until I get away <laughs> with the noise. You know, the salt gun would be cool, but not inside. You know. Then you're you got salt everywhere. I think they're pretty cool too, but the, the problem would be uh, you just be really tempted <laughs> yeah. to shoot him. No. Yes. No. I have one that can't catch the <laughs> I'm not a very good shot with it either. With the the bug zapper thing. You know? Sometimes uh, I'm good at it, and you're good at it. But sometimes, sometimes the flies you can zap are... them, and you know you zap them, and they fall, and then you turn around to get a tissue to pick it up with, and, and they get up, gone. yeah, they get they up, and fly off. Awesome. Buggers. 
We have one. <laughs> Reminds me of the farmer that would shoot kids in the butt with straw. <laughs> we had we had some Chinese people that grew strawberries down by the riverbed when I was a kid, and they would they would shoot it uh, by friends. I told them I go. I I heard the stories about. It. I would go down there. Maybe a couple of people who got popped in the the hidey. <laughs> Hurts like heck, man. All right. Makes you think more than once. Okay. All right, guys. Show time is over. We have to we have to call it a day. But it's been fun, even though we're really tired. Uh, don't As forget, always, don't we, forget to like us. We really appreciate that you guys <laughs> log on for our yeah, our nonsense, our flatline yeah. conversation. <laughs> we do enjoy it though, and we thank you guys for what. What I'm thinking about doing time. is stripping everything off the motorhome <laughs> and just making this gigantic, taking that tin shed out there and mount it out there. <laughs> They'd probably watch that, huh? <coughs> yeah, because it's the same reason you tune into Class A. You just can't believe yeah. what he does. Yeah. Well, I like I say, if it, it, he wants to do this for a living, he wants to uh, he wants to do to other people's RVs what he's yeah. done to his. It's like <laughs> it. a shop. Yeah, I don't know if I would be uh, running <laughs> up there to get anything done. Yeah, anyway, good night, guys. guys. Good night, Trey. Good night, Trey. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Canadian Twig. Go watch our video, guys. Tim, if you have it, I or just, Jim and Mark and Maddie. I and just put a video out today. so. Mellow Go Kitty. And two eggs and a kitty. And <laughs> John Combs. And have a good week. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Night and guys. everybody Say hit the night, like Canadian button. Twig. If you haven't subscribed before, tonight's the night to do it because. Oh, there's Claudia. Have you been watching the whole she time? Has. She has. She oh, yeah. has snow. Remember, I told you that. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Are you, Claudia? One more Don't question. Claudia, you are you guys it. coming to Quartzsite this year? Did you ever get another? Of what? Of course they are. Did you get another RV yet? Get one of those ones where the, it has the, the hard tires instead of the <laughs> ones with air. Solid aerial. rubber tires. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, John Boy. <laughs> you ready? You ready? All is right, she going to answer me? <laughs> Lottie is not going to answer me. LOL. <laughs> All right, guys. There it oh, is. Oh, yes, I have no motor home yet. For yeah. sure. Okay. okay, well, we got to get, you got to get something. I know, you're running out of time. Yeah. Anyways, guys, love you all. See you next time.